It is mid-January up here in Wisconsin, and it is absolutely freezing out. In fact, you guys have probably been seeing me wear my Carhartt hat a lot more lately in the videos. And I do that because, well, one, I wanna stay warm, but two, I wanna keep myself protected from the elements. And it's not a lot different than running these BFG trail terrain tires that I have on my car that are Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated. Now I've been running these on my Highlander for about, oh, it's probably been about four months now. And I think I got right around that, honestly, I lost track. It's probably right around that 7,500 miles or so on these tires. And the last couple of months have been in temperatures um, that are averaging in between that 10 and 25 degrees or so. And these tires, I mean, up here in Wisconsin or any northern climate where it gets below freezing quite often and consistently tires go through a lot of abuse i mean you got to think about it they're sitting there uh, overnight on your vehicle in the freezing temperature sometimes well below zero degrees hence the reason i'm running a 3 pmf rated tire three peak mountain snowflake rated tire like these bfg trail terrains so even just like a regular mud and snow rated tire won't be able to be as pliable as like the 3 pmf rated compound that are on these bfg trail terrains and you guys have seen some of the videos that we've done before on the bfg trail terrains if not definitely check them out but one of the things that we wanted to do is some real world testing in uh, snow and ice and we've been able to do that um, here a couple of different times just a little bit ago we had a pretty nasty snowstorm come through and I was really able to put these BFG trail terrains to the test in some pretty nasty weather, snow, blizzard, wind, icy, slushy. It was a mixture of all kinds of stuff. We had a, uh, basically a snowstorm and then it rained and then a snowstorm and then it froze. So there was still some slushy stuff on the road, but it was ice layer underneath that and, um, and then snow on top of that. So it was, uh, definitely like a perfect scenario as far as testing out these tires and even through those types of situations these trail terrains definitely exceeded my expectations I mean I thought they were gonna be good right because they should be they're um, a tire that's designed for those types of situations and severe um, driving conditions in the snow or ice and um, or even off-road and they still are designed to have an ample amount of traction in all of those different types of situations and they definitely do there's plenty of siping throughout the tread i mean when you're looking at the tire you can see that all across the tread you don't even go an inch without there being more siping going across all of the different tread blocks plus there's definitely plenty of voids in between all of the tread blocks and speaking of voids in between the tread blocks, one thing I did want to address to you guys is we, we have had some inquiries about um, what we'll call like the closed off shoulder lugs. And I contacted the engineers at BFG to find out exactly why those shoulder lugs, why there's no void in between the center treads and uh, the shoulder lugs. And, and even with that closed shoulder lug area with that lateral void space, that it's, it's, it's not necessary to prevent hydroplaning. You don't have to have that void there if the tread pattern, tread design was engineered with enough void ratio and tread void depth along with the combination of siping to evacuate enough of that water that it's not gonna allow the water to make the tire hydroplane, if that makes sense. Now. With that being said, guys, if you're going too fast for any type of situation where there's a lot of water on the road or slush or snow or ice, regardless of whatever tire you're running, it's going to put you in a situation where that tire may lose contact with the ground. Okay, So even though BFG did absolutely take into consideration the combination of the sipes, the void ratios, the tread depth, the positioning of the tread blocks, the compound that they're using to make it 3PMF rated, 
If you're going too fast in the scenario and you lose traction, it's not going to be the tire's fault. It's either going to be maybe negligence of replacing the tires in a timely fashion. Maybe they're just too worn out or it's going to be you're just driving too fast con for conditions because I, <laughs> I did have that happen with these. Um, in that same day where we had that snowstorm, I was driving too fast. I was overconfident, which... I mean, these tires were really gripping and grabbing, and I was extremely impressed with how well they were um, sticking to the road, even with ice on the road. And I just got into a spot where the road was um, basically had trees on both sides, so the wind wasn't able to push the, the built-up snow and the slush and all the crap that was on the road, wasn't able to just clear the road off in that particular section. And it was just, I don't know, it, it was maybe two inches of slush or so and well I did start floating on top of that slush but I was driving a little too fast I was driving about 60 miles an hour which I probably should have been doing about 35 miles an hour so I do not blame these tires at all in fact I don't even know if a mud tire like I don't even know if the KM3s on my Scout would have stuck to the concrete on and in that situation I mean probably I mean the Scout's definitely a lot heavier than than this vehicle and there's obviously a lot more space in between the tread blocks but either way I was going too fast for those conditions besides that one little situation in every other circumstance that I put these tires through that day it was on ice it was uh, cruising around corners a little too fast and these things were grabbing. They were sticking to the road. They were doing their jobs. They were evacuating the snow. They were um, definitely, def there was definitely plenty of adhesion to the road. And, uh, and I wanted to give you guys that feedback for any of you that are questioning if these tires are really good in the winter. Absolutely, yes, they are. Now, keep in mind, these are pretty new yet. I mean, like I said, I, I don't think I even have, I should have kept track, honestly, but um, I probably have maybe, let's just say 7,500 miles or so on them. It's probably a little bit less than that. So I do want to, you know, continually keep testing these tires as they wear down. Uh, one of the things BFG does is they run their sipes. They have 3D siping in them, which the 3D sipes mean that there are different levels of ridges inside of the sipes that help with the structural rigidity of the tread blocks themselves and also help evacuate water out of them faster um, but with that said bfg sipes do go all the way down to the base layer of the tread itself and what that does is that allows that 3 pmf rated tire to be three peak mountain snowflake rated all the way to the wear bars which is right around that 230 seconds or so um, of an inch before you start to get to that wear bar. So you do get the full life of the tire as a three peak mountain snowflake rated tire. Now there are other three PMF rated tires out there that don't have sipes that go all the way through the tread block itself and down to the base layer. So you do end up losing that three PMSF rating actually after those sipes have worn out. Whereas on the BFG trail terrains though, They'll remain that 3 pmf rating will remain throughout the life of the tire which is pretty cool so they do have the 60,000 mile tread wear warranty on these which is phenomenal as well uh, you can definitely feel confident in the fact that these tires are going to last you you know and of course that comes with the manufacturer's suggested not even suggested with the manufacturer's uh, standards as to maintaining your tires to make sure that if anything does happen to these tires throughout the life of them or within that 60,000 miles that you can get them replaced under warranty. So another thing too guys is these tires right now, these trail terrains are available in 27 different sizes. And again guys, if you watch some of our previous videos on the BFG trail terrains, you'll know that BFG did design these tires to be great for the weekend warrior, daily driver, um, any type of application in the winter in the northern hemispheres obviously or situations where you will be doing I would say more like medium to less aggressive off-roading if you want to do more aggressive off-roading that's where the uh, BFG KO2 comes in great for that so this is a great all-around tire it's quiet on the road um, 
it's quiet on the road it's great as an OE replacement on anything from your Subaru Outbacks all the way to your Highlanders your um, SUVs in general even light pickup trucks now I say light because I mean, you can I mean obviously run these on a half ton pickup truck but BFG is not going to be releasing these in an LT rated tire so you won't see these in like a E load or F load or anything like that um, so if you're running a half ton but you're pulling a lot of weight or hauling a lot of weight around probably not this tire for you it's going to be more for that kind of situation more for like the ko2 where you can get that lt sizing there and guys if you do have any questions on these trail terrains definitely make sure and let us know in the comments below as always guys we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support i'm josh from trail Bolt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails